Beneath its thick, fluffy double coat, the Old English Sheepdog is a compact rover with many muscles and bones. It stands around 21 to 22 inches at the shoulder. These dogs were initially bred to assist in fields and livestock, but now they're becoming more popular in show ring and family pets. The OES, as fans call them, was a drover helping farmers drive cattle and sheep to their local market. Weighing between 60 to 100 pounds, the OES is an impressive large dog that craves lots of enrichment and exercise opportunities. The OES skull is capacious and rather squarely formed. Their movement is known for being nimble with their bear-like shape. Their large body size and double coats make them frequent customers at the local groomers and regular visits to your veterinarians. Their size requires them to stay fit and trim to maintain their health. If you want to include one of them in your family, this video is for you. Stay tuned to know more about this healthy dog breed. Hi, welcome to our channel, Smart Dog Lover. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and don't forget to hit the like button for your regular dose of dog-related entertaining videos. Let's get straight into this video. History. The Old English Sheepdog came from Devon and Somerset, and it was a similar breed to the continental sheep herding dogs. A few breeds could be in the ancestry of the Old English Sheepdog such as those from the Scotch Bearded Collie, including the French Briard. But an outstanding bloodline hasn't been decided yet. The Old English Sheepdog has been in existence for about the last century. The breed was used by farmers as drover dogs primarily, driving stocks to markets, pulling carts and wagons, and with their stamina, steadiness, and courage. It's been said that the OES went viral in the late 1880s when they came to the United States where they were first owned by a Pittsburgh industrialist named W. Wade. By the 1900s, the OES was owned, exhibited, and bred by just five wealthy American families. This prompted one show superintendent to advise the judges at a show in 1904 not to take too much time because the dogs in the ring are owned or bred by some of our leading Americans. In Europe and America, the Old English Sheepdog was a well-prized show dog from the early 20th century. In 1905, the American Kennel Club recognized this famous breed. Over time, they were color restrictions placed so the modern-day American dog had gray or white coats. Today, dogs have shorter and more compact bodies and a profuse fur coat. The old English Sheepdog has grown in popularity, integrating into popular literature like the Colonial in Dodie Smith's The 101 Dalmatian and Nana in J.M. Barry's Peter and Wendy. Even though it is no longer as common of a breed, owners still consider it a wonderful show dog and best friend to their children. Other names. The breed is often referred to as a sheepdog and bobtail refers to their truncated tails. Their tails would be docked usually in the past and that's how the nickname bobtail originated. Personality. The Old English Sheepdog is playful, affectionate, and overall a natural clown. They have a lively sense of humor, but will also enjoy making their owner's life more difficult. They can be stubborn and need firm guidance to help them make the right decisions. They usually mature at the age of three, and this dog continues to be carefree until his golden years. These dogs require significant amount of physical exercise they don't like to be alone for long periods and prefer to be with family members. The OES is highly adaptable and can easily adjust to apartments. Despite his working heritage, he's not a good candidate for backyard dogs. With its long coat and large ears, the OES makes a good choice for any family who can provide it with the caring environment it needs to thrive. Pet Compatibility a nice old English sheepdog is generally an excellent choice as a pet for other dogs and cats, but there can be some exceptions like any dog. If you acquire an old English sheepdog, it might take over the role of herding your other pets out of the way when they're not being very cooperative and do as they are told. Old English sheepdogs have strong hunting instincts 
So it might be best to avoid smaller companion animals while with your dog. They get along well with cats they're familiar with, but you will still need to supervise them when they have other pets. Temperament The Old English Sheepdog is a breed with an even temperament. They make a bark that sounds like a clanging pot much like a pot case. Though they were initially used as working dogs, they can be aggressive towards other animals or people, and many reputable breeders are working to improve their temperament. Many dogs are good workers, but the OES is the exception. They remain childlike for many years and can grow quick change age. It may ignore your instructions if it believes it is a stronger-minded individual than you. They have an instinct to herd, they notch people by touching their hips, and may try to herd humans for no good reason. Family Time OES is good-natured and kind. They're perfect companions for kids and make excellent family dogs. They also want to be with their family and could suffer from separation anxiety if left alone for too long. They are sometimes referred to as nanny dogs, which comes from stories about the duties he occasionally performs for their family. Children Compatibility They claim that they find the motherly OES a trusted companion for the young and new. They say the OES will act as a support when you're learning to walk and is there for your toddler to lean on. Those who first say this often than not follow tales of how their old English sheepdog watched over their young children. However, there are exceptions to the old English sheepdog's role as a loving nanny. This is because of unhealthy and neurotic dogs through overbreeding and inbreeding. It is advisable to get it from a reputable breeder and always inquire about the puppy's parents. Regardless of age or breed, children should never be left unsupervised with a dog. Owning OES puppies typically range in cost from $1,200 to $1,500. Shelters may supply preventative care and microchips. Adopting an old English sheepdog from a shelter or rescue group could be cheaper. Old English sheepdogs generally have a low tendency to become overweight. But if they do, you should watch the calories they take in. They're usually difficult to weigh accurately, but it can be rather tricky with a full coat. Like some dogs, the Old English Sheepdog can live outside in temperate or cool climates. It needs access to indoor quarters, tidbits, and human interaction to maintain a healthy lifestyle. To meet the daily exercise requirement of an energetic romp, a moderate walk or long run outdoors is sufficient. They require bathing, coat treatment, and grooming daily and limit their activities. Those who care for them work hard to keep the dog's beautiful coat in show condition once or twice a year by clipping it down. Old English sheepdogs require an impressive amount of energy and activity, especially when the dogs are young. They must be trained, socialized, and not be left in a house alone for long periods. These dogs were meant as working dogs, meaning they're happiest when used for specific tasks that provide mental and physical stimulation. Hope this helps you to find the right match for you. Let us know. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want more videos like this, click on that subscribe button. Thanks for being with us.